Hey guys, Atticus James here with GearsofGuns.com and if you are watching this the day that it comes out, I am in India! There's a link in the description to go and follow me on my vacation or my trip and see all the awesome food that I'm eating and all the awesome adventure that I'm having. Please go and check that out and subscribe if you uh, enjoy those videos. Today we are back at it with the Browning Silver Field Composite. This is a 12 gauge shotgun that I've been working on for the past few months and I gotta tell you before we get into the review I love this shotgun and honestly I just want to keep it. So let's go over some of the the things on the gun and uh, then we'll, we'll actually shoot it a little bit. So first off like I said it's composite which means not wood but more of a, a plastic type um, furniture all the way up which means that if you guys are a hunter and you want to use this in the field and you dip it into the creek while you're hunting for little duckies you're not worried about the wood swelling or any damage to the stock because you're not going to damage it this also means that if you want to paint it you've got a nice surface to paint on and nobody's going to yell at you for painting a wood shotgun i wouldn't i don't care what you do it's your shotgun right so what do we have in the gun? We have four plus one two and, a, two and three quarter inch shells that have been very graciously sent out by Winchester. I'm very thankful for Winchester Ammunition for sending us out ammunition. Again, they are a different company than Winchester Browning, so they're slightly related, but they are different. So a big thank you to them, and uh, if you guys want some ammunition, link in the description. Let's shoot this gun and uh, see how it shoots. Let's talk price tag. We're looking at between 900 and 950 for this shotgun, brand new. You can probably pick it up at your gun shop for probably a little bit less, but Online, you're gonna find it for about 900 to 950. Is this gun worth it at that price? Honestly, I think so. I feel that because it's a brand name, it's, it's a Browning gun, which means that you have the name attached to it, but you also have the company that is going to take care of this gun behind it. So I think, yes, you get what you pay for. And when, when it comes to shotguns, you really do get what you pay for. It's not going to be a precision, you know, I'm shooting out two miles type of gun, obviously. It's a shotgun, but you do get a gun that is going to be reliable, and if you have issues, you send it to them, they're gonna take care of you, they're gonna fix it, and even with older firearms, they can even try to help you with those. I really do like Browning, and I think that they're a great company, so I do love shooting their shotguns, and I do think that this one is well worth the price. You guys are wondering, we're shooting uh, the Lyman Products one-step thrower, and the reason is, is with it raining, I don't want to have to try and rush and bring in my electric thrower and deal with that. So we've just got this nice foot thrower, allows me to shoot alone, and I don't have to worry about having somebody else helping me drag stuff out. So what, shotguns are one of the harder firearms to review as you don't really have a lot of things that you can talk about. You can't say, oh, well this gun can hold some MOA. You don't say, oh, well this gun is really great for, you know, this is a hunting and sport firearm, which means that if you're gonna be shooting clay pigeons or you're gonna be out hunting, that's what this is for. Outside of that, you know, you're not gonna say, oh, well, you don't wanna shoot this with this. It's a shotgun, you understand that. So this is one of the harder ones for me to talk about, but there's one very important thing that I do wanna talk about, and that's when it comes to Browning and Winchester, and the names that they hold. Now, a lot of us have grandparents that have shotguns or firearms, and they've either passed them on to our fathers or us, and now we have firearms that have a great legacy to them. Many generations that they've been passed down and they continue to create firearms that are 
generational firearms, guns that you can pass to the next generation. You're not worried that this gun is not going to last. You're not worried that your barrel is going to be burnt out by the time that your grandchild is born. These guns will last you a lifetime, and not just your lifetime. And I really do think that's a great quality in a firearm. Having something that you can pass down and say, this was my gun, and you hand it to your son, and your son hands it to his son, and it just, it continues on, and the company behind it can say, we still stand by that firearm. And I truly, truly appreciate Browning and Winchester for their ability to stand behind their firearms. Even with their older firearms, you can still call them up and say, hey, this is the gun that I have, can you help me with this? And nine out of 10 times they're gonna say, we are gonna do our best to do everything in our power to get this gun back to operational for you. Now it may cost a little bit, but I mean, nothing's free in life, right? <sighs> Let me talk about the one bad thing that I don't like. I don't like that when you put the limiter in, it's basically taking everything apart. You have to pull out a spring. It's not just removing this end cap and throwing a rod into the gun. It's not simple like that. I don't like that. I don't appreciate it because I want to be able to take this gun from sport out to hunting within a matter of moments. I want to decide, oh, hey, my buddies have just invited me to go out hunting this weekend. I'm going to take this out. I don't want to have to sit there the night before grabbing my manual, remembering how to pull everything apart and put in that limiter. I don't want to do that. I keep this as a five round gun because most of the time I'm shooting sport with it. And that's what I like to do. I like to shoot this most of the time. So I'm going to have to decide, do I want this for clay pigeons or do I want this for hunting? That's a con to me. It's the only con that I really have for this gun and I really don't know if that's going to be a problem for you as not all of us go out clay pigeon shooting, you know, every Thursday night. Some of us have property and we're allowed to do that. What more can I say about a shotgun that is well built? Maybe composite, so it's it's not that wood finish that's your like your grandfather, but it's going to last. You're not going to worry about it getting dented or dinked up too much because again it's going to be able to take the abuse it's a great gun really do enjoy this gun let me go and shoot a couple more clay pigeons and uh we'll get back to it i do really like the look of this gun this black and silver look get the logo got the logo on both sides semi-auto shotgun I really like it. I think they did real well on this. Guys, I'm in India right now, so if hopefully you're watching this when it comes out. Go check out the videos below. I am in India posting videos, trying to get out as much content over there for you guys. And uh, I am still trying to produce a few more videos with this rain before I leave, so that way that you guys have full gun content while I'm gone. I want to say again thank you to Browning and Winchester for or Winchester Ammunition for sending us out ammunition and the gun to review and honestly Browning don't make me send this back it's mine now. I'm Atticus James with GearsOfGuns.com. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope that you guys will hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.